In this video, we explain how body fat parameters help us to exercise and eat for better health and lower blood pressure. The first one is BMI or body mass index. It's like your body's quick elevator pitch. Short, simple, but not telling the whole story. It's a basic calculation that divides your weight by the square of your height. What it tells you, whether you are underweight, normal weight, overweight or obese. BFP, the body fat percentage. BFP gives a more detailed look at what's really going on under the hood. It's the percentage of your total body weight that's composed of fat. Too much fat can lead to health issues. Finally, the BMR or basal metabolic rate. Think of it as your body's idle speed. It's the number of calories which we burn just by existing. Yes, breathing and thinking burns calories. What does it tell us? How many calories you need to maintain your weight if you did nothing but uh, sitting or lying down. The most precise way to calculate body weight is the so-called DEXA technology, but it costs upward of $150 per test. Simpler ways include uh, calipers that can be used to gather skin fold measurements. And there is another widely spread method of measuring body fat index, which is bioelectrical impedance scales. They may be less accurate uh, than uh, DEXA, However, these scales are pretty useful for identifying trends as long as you, as you weigh yourself at the same time each day. So what is considered a healthy body fat percentage? This table shows the numbers by gender and by age, and it comes from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. The higher somebody's body fat percent, the more likely they are to develop heart disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, breathing problems like sleep apnea and that it might also lead to higher cholesterol which can lead to heart disease. Lowering your body fat percentage is likely to involve reducing the number of calories you eat along with increasing your physical activity level. Studies show that 30 minutes of aerobic exercise a day correlates with sustained weight loss. Aerobic exercises can take many forms including walking, running, swimming and cycling. There are many videos on our channel which uh, show aerobic exercises which specifically targeted at uh, lowering blood pressure. Your BMI can be a quick way to assess your risk for metabolic disease. Find yourself with a high BMI. It might be the best also to test your body fat percentage. It's very important that your diet also match the current goal. And the most classic example is the following. I want to get lean, so I'm going to diet, which means eat fewer calories and work out more, increase energy expenditure. And uh, if you're really trying to lose weight and at the same time retain muscles, then you have to prioritize protein intake, which uh, should be around 0.9 grams of protein per pound of uh, body weight. So I use uh, data scales to understand uh, my key fat percentage uh, numbers, the uh, BMI, BFP and uh, BMR. And um, I look at the trend on a weekly and uh, monthly basis. And if I see that some of the numbers are getting out of the desired range, then I either increase the calorie intake or reduce calorie intake. I uh, increase my um, aerobic exercise and also shift between aerobic exercise and resistance exercise to make sure that uh, all three numbers are aligned. If you find this uh, video useful, please subscribe and uh, please um, like it. Have a wonderful day.